behind you, Pastor. Oh. Man, I thought you really stood me up this time, man. And if I have to tell you to stop calling me Pastor one more time, I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry, it's a habit. <laughs> uh, is everything okay, man? You remember the secret spot from when we were kids? Yeah, man, where you proposed to Katie. It's, I mean, it's not a secret anymore. Yeah, um, let's go there. I really need some pastoral advice. Okay, man, let's go. Wow, man, it's been quite some time since I've been here. Yeah, me too. I think there's something going on with Katie. How so? She feels different. Distant. Her attention seems to be elsewhere. I mean, it could be work. You know how she is. She's a workaholic. No. I think she's seeing someone. Do you know who? I think it's someone from the church. It's just weird that all of a sudden she's involved in every single activity at the church. I remember she would always tell me that she was too busy to actually get involved. I mean, I just find it hard to believe she would do something like that. Plus, don't you think it's a good thing that she's more involved in the church? No. <clears throat> you remember how to get there, right? I have to go take a leak. Yeah, man, I'll see you there. All right, all right. Do not touch her. Vince, what are you doing? The mind governed by flesh is death. Romans 8, 6. I listened to you. I trusted you. I believed in him because of you. But none of that mattered. Just because you wanted to fuck my wife! Vincent, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please don't tell the church, Vincent. Please, I'm sorry. Just forgive me. Oh, forgive me, Vincent. Please. You're sick. I'm sorry you feel that way. the 